ever feel like you're recommending the same books over and over to your students? Well, maybe today's video will help. In this video, we're going to talk about books that my fifth graders love reading. If you're interested, keep watching. Welcome to the Teacher's Playbook, a channel made for teachers by a teacher. I'm Melanie Howell, and I teach fifth grade. I've been doing it for more than 20 years and love it. But today I want to talk to you about some books that my students love. If I can ask you to, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's get into the books. So two heartfelt books. One I'll tell you about is called Paper Boy. This is a book by Vince Vauder. He came and visited our school a year or so ago. Uh, he was a great speaker. This is a fantastic book about a young man with a stuttering problem that he's very self-conscious about. And then one summer, he takes on delivering newspapers in his small town. And it's about all the people he meets and how he plans what he wants to say to them and how he sort of overcomes his own uh, internal struggles, but also how he works on his speech. And it's a very endearing story. It's a good one. And then there's Wish. Wish is a heartfelt story about a little girl who is sent by a social worker to live with extended family in North Carolina. And it's about how she assimilates there, how she meets kind of the oddball friend, and they work on getting this stray dog. And then at the end, um, her mom wants her to come home. And that's where the heartstrings definitely get tugged on a little bit. I am going to recommend, and I took the cover off, I'm sorry, but this is Blended. It is a fantastic story, recommended by one of my most avid readers as her favorite book so far this year in fifth grade. And that's saying a lot because this child reads quite a bit. And she just loved that there were so many... Uh, relevant lessons taught through characters in this story. If you don't know, Blended is about a young lady whose dad is African American and mom is white. And obviously, Blended family. And the different thought processes that she goes through learning how to deal with that at a young age. World War II is always a popular topic in fifth grade for books. The first book recommended very highly by, again, that quiet, gifted reader who just kind of wants you to leave him alone with a book. That kid might have one like that. Well, my quiet, gifted, please just leave me alone and let me read kid said this was his favorite book of fifth grade so far. And it is Resistance by Jennifer Nielsen. Again, a World War II book. And here's an older book that's a good one to recommend. This is a World War II book, but with a different twist in that the setting is Burma. It's about a young man who is living with mom in London, and when things get dangerous, she sends him to live with dad in Burma. But uh, the war finds him there as well. This is a great book for kids that need um, a quickly paced plot with a lot of action not a lot of lengthy details but again a fantastic very well written book love this one year after year after year for your athletic kids these two books first we have ghost and this is the first book in a series that um, a couple of my kids are just sort of discovering ghost is about a child who normally is an athlete that involves, it says, you know, usually when I'm running, it involves a ball, but this is someone who is discovered and convinced that they have Olympic potential in running. And so this book is a great one. There's a lot of internal conflict, but the athletic side of it really keeps your athletic kids interested. And the second book in the series is called Patina and they are begging me to buy that one already. Of course, I think I've talked about these before, the Kwame Alexander books. All of them are always highly sought after by my fifth graders, especially those athletic kids. Technically, it is poetry, but for your more reluctant readers, um, I had one student say, I really like this book, 
not just because of the sports, but it's because you look down and you're already on page 100. <laughs> hey, whatever gets them reading, right? Of course. Now, this book came to my classroom yesterday and three girls literally dove out of their seats to try and snatch it from my hand. So we had to all sit down and um, have sort of a lottery to see who would get it. And the young lady that um, had her stick drawn read the book in one night. She was that excited. Uh, if you don't know, Louisiana is one of the characters in Ramey Nightingale and they are just so anxious to read this book. I will say that the little girl that read it in one night came in this morning and she said, it didn't make me cry. I was surprised it didn't make me cry. And I, I asked her, I said, is that a good thing or a bad thing? And she said, it's neither. I was just surprised that I didn't cry. So take that for what you will. Of course, Mr. Limoncello, this series is fantastic. I have a child raving about the um, escape from Mr. Limoncello's library. Lots of kids that involve games and plot twist and clever research really enjoy these books, very popular. And of course, you have to have a good old uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid on the list because these are always sought after and popular. I've said this one before, we still have kids passing around refugee. Again, like Elephant Run, it's a lot of action, quickly paced. It's three stories in one, but the way those three stories intertwine and the themes that the kids are able to detect and talk about, uh, this is a special book. This is a very special book. And these are some of the books my fifth graders are loving at the moment. Some newer than others, some sweet and heartfelt, some more athletic, some geared towards World War II, a little bit of everything. But isn't that what makes it fun? If you enjoyed this video, I hope you will consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know if there's another title that your kids are passing around and just absolutely love because I too can always use um, some new books in my classroom library. Have a great day.